So many parents are dealing with tonight. Local school districts changing how students learn because of coronavirus cases inside their school. Boy, that's right, Lisa. Right now, a dozen counties in Pennsylvania, including Westmoreland County, would fall under the state recommendation for no in-class instruction. And as we deal with rising cases, our Amy Hudak found out how local schools are doing seven months into this pandemic. COVID is tough. Yeah, no question about it. COVID-19 cases are creeping up in our communities and in our children's schools. Over the last two weeks, we have reported nearly 2,000 new cases of COVID-19 among school age children, which are ages 5 through 18. Through a window at Edgeworth Elementary in Swickley, a janitor can be seen scrubbing down a classroom. 129 students and staff in the Quaker Valley School District are in quarantine. 14 current COVID-19 cases in the middle and high school forced the district to close both schools for the next two weeks. Late in the evening Monday, the Baldwin Whitehall superintendent sent this letter home. Each of the district's three elementary schools were now closed for the rest of the week after a substitute teacher who had been in each elementary school tested positive for COVID-19. Also in Allegheny County, McKeesport School District reported six new cases in the past 24 hours among students, teachers and staff. The district saying we believe that the cases are fully contained in each instance and custodians are using spray striker machines to disinfect all surfaces. The state health secretary saying this is all part of the fall resurgence. In some communities, schools are contributing to a rise in cases. The percent of cases we are seeing among 13 to 18 year olds is higher than it has been since the beginning of the pandemic over September and October. In Westmoreland County, Hempfield, Latrobe and Norwin schools, to name a few, are grappling with a spike in cases too. Latrobe has 28 current COVID-19 cases. Students are in class five days a week, despite the community spread entering the significant phase in the county. The health department's recommendation in that situation moved to 100% virtual. Norwin School District reported seven new cases Monday alone among students and staff. The district is considering transitioning from hybrid to five days a week in class next month. Students and school board members publicly stating they're just not comfortable. We're in charge of these kids for seven and a half hours, eight hours a day. And I think safety is the biggest concern that we have as educators. The state saying it's been extremely tough to pinpoint where cases are coming from. 67% of people in early October didn't even answer questions about where they'd been or who they were around. I can't stress enough how critical it is for, that, for them to give us that information and participate fully in the case investigation process and the contact tracing process. From the slim percentage of people who chose to answer questions, here's where cases reportedly came from. 50% from restaurants, 14% from bars, 13% from gyms or fitness centers, 8% from salons or barber shops, and 26% from other types of businesses. David, Lisa.